extra small Peak Design camera cube. It has the 400D um, nylon outer case. It's very padded, so it's gonna take a few knocks and even drops. And you have the zipper that goes all the way around to here, so it stops here. Then you have your standard um, tether points, so you can put some Peak Design anchors on either side and then hang off a camera strap if you needed to. It also has this grab handle that goes all the way around seamlessly. I'm not quite sure how they've done that. So that goes all the way around the bag and that's very handy for hooking onto things or just pulling out your bag. And that's pretty much the outside of this. Now it is, it does have weather sealed zips and I haven't tested that out as yet. Um, but yeah, it's weather sealed and it says all the um, seams are weather sealed, weather stitched. So let's have a little look inside. Let's pull out the swing ticket and have a look at some of the details. Extra small camera cube version two. Uh, what are some of the features that they have on here? So we have a removable um, padded tuckaway cover, which is in here. So if you wanted to stack up some items inside the bag, you could pull that out and then put that on top of whatever you have inside the bag and then use it like a sandwich and um, stack any other lenses or gear on top of that. So that comes out and it's a little bit tricky to get back in, but if you just work it in like so, it goes back in nice and flat. And then as you can see inside, you have these two dividers which come with it and also these um, clips. Now these come with most of the camera cubes and these are for fixing this strap to the outside or inside rather of um, backpacks uh, or connecting it with other camera cubes. These are very easy to use and you could probably just leave them on the catch outside so you could literally just undo it like so. And then, yeah, as I said, you can probably just leave them on the outside uh, just as easy. So let's put those away. It says you can fit a drone kit in here. So again, you would use that sandwich divider to maybe put the drone on the bottom and then put your controller on the top. It does have a picture of a standard controller, not an RC Pro one with the screen. So I'm not sure whether one of those would go in. Again, some other examples of what else you can fit in here. I'm gonna go through some of my uh, gear and fit in a second. So yeah, you can use the dividers like this. There's a Ruddy Flex in there. This is one of five in their new range and they have extra small, small, medium, medium and large. This is a 3.5 liter. So external dimensions, 12 by 23 by 15 centimeters, internal dimensions, 10 by 21 by 13.5. And it weighs in at 150 grams and the max camera size with lens, as it says on here, whether you can see that. So it says 21 centimeters long. Now this is made from 100% recycled nylon, canvas shell. Yeah, all the other stuff. You can read up on that online. So let's just have a look, make sure we're not missing anything. So we've got the two dividers inside. Let's take those out and I'll show you some of my cameras and gear that you can fit inside. So first up, I, I've had this on a um, trip recently to Italy. I had my X-T4 in here and this um, was literally just living in here like so. And it sits in there really neatly and I didn't actually have anything else in there. Um, I think I might have actually, on one of the days we were out, I might have had the GoPro in there as well. So I'd have used one of the dividers. I would have had my GoPro with the um, mod on and a strap. And I think that was living down inside there with the strap. And then the X-T4 fits neatly in there with its strap. And that closes up very easily. Let's try my um, Sony a7R4. Now that will fit in here again with a grip on mind. So it has the portrait battery grip on. It does sit a little bit proud, as you can see, but it will zip up. Yeah, you can then fit in additional gear or maybe another small lens on the side there. This lens is a 18mm 2.8 Samyang, my wide angle lens. So what else can we fit in here? Let's have a look. Let's take that out. What about a 70 to 200mm? This is the F4, this is the original one. That again fits in there really neatly. If you work on location and you have a lot of these lacy, um, rugged drives, it's good to have a case to sort of transport them around in. In total, I think you could probably fit seven in there easily. 
Let's take those out. Again, you could put in a divider so you have a little bit of spacing between those. And what else can we fit in here? So I have a Marshall Emberton speaker, goes in there easily. And then you could probably take out this give a bit of protection on top of that. And I could put in a battery that I use for the cameras and the iPad, and then you could fit uh, a few other items and cables down the side there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, if you found it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Uh, I will be making more videos about other Peak Design products. Uh, there will be a link on the screen somewhere up here, and I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, I think there'll be a bit of a discount code there as well. So that will take you to the Peak Design website site where you can see all the products I'm going to be reviewing in the near future. So until then, I will definitely, or I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.